It's Laura Rick of the Paranormal Ghost Society. And I'm giving you a tour of a very haunted office. This used to be a historical home. It's been transformed into an office. And the company had just moved in. And there's been some activity. I know because I was busy doing some assembly work of some desk and some furniture and moving things around. And I heard a girl screaming from the basement. And you can see straight down into the basement. Now the lights are off, but you can see straight down in the basement from this very office. And there are closets. Like I said, these were bedrooms at one time. It's been remodeled, except for one room, which I'll show you. Some of these homes in this area date back to the late 1800s. This house is fairly close to a bunch of government buildings. It's historical. There's plaques everywhere in the neighborhood, old churches. But it has been redone. She can't tell it's an old house. We will do a film of the outside of the home and the grounds eventually. However, since I started helping out in here, one of the supervisors who's employed here that I talked to told me that she was working, putting her desk and shelves together when the basement door opened on its own twice. And I'll show you the basement door. First off, this is the oldest room, or the room that's been untouched. It really has not been remodeled. The knotty pine's a little old school. The floors are all hardwood. Old closet, very cold inside. I was sitting here putting together a desk and I heard this girl or female like is practically just yelling and over and over and Tammy and her supervisor were outside smoking a cigarette and I'm like whoa what's going on here these are the basement stairs now I'm by myself in this house most people are like ah, I'm not going down in no basement you can see this is what the basement looks like just a bunch of filing cabins a little window leading outside little window and a stairwell crawl space. Anything could get disturbed. I feel due to the fact that there's been some mer moving of furniture. It's probably caused a little bit of a ruckus if this house was haunted. Sometimes you get entities and what they do is the entities will hide. For example, in a closet under the stairs or it's kind of like a dormant hibernation period and then you know let's say someone like us moves the office over here gets an office or house moved it stirs up a little paranormal activity it's the kitchen the grounds are well landscaped. Like I said, this is a historical home turned into an office. And I'll show you what I mean by historic, or what I mean by historic area. This house, well, it's no longer a home, but this, I don't want to film out the windows and look like a peeping town way for people to walk past. This, folks, is a historical home. And sometimes out the window, you'll see a ghost at night looking down from the top, from the second story. 
facing the parking lot. It's very scenic. I should have filmed it last night, but it was too dark. But there's apple trees. And last night, I'll attach some photos, but last night, when I was sitting here, I came outside for a smoke, and there was two bucks standing right by this apple tree, reaching up and grabbing apples. The deer run through the neighborhood. You see how green it is? It's very woodsy because this is where the foothills are of the Sierra Nevadas of the Carson Range. So there's a lot of trees, a lot of woods, and the deer basically, they go down the street for about a half mile and they start hitting the hills and the mountains and they go right back up and they come down here to eat the apples. So last night I was able to get four feet away. They're not scared of humans. They're, they're more, they're here to eat. You gotta watch during mating season. You gotta watch not to get too close. But for the most part, they're pretty, people friendly. They're very domesticated deer. Some nights I'll see eight, nine does on this property just laying on the grass. Like I said, these are historical homes, very old, some of them. We'll eventually show you. But a lot of times we'll see eight does with her fawns laying on this front lawn that you see here because it's very grassy. But everything is historical. There's a lot of mansions in a variety of places that surround or historic, a lot of historic locations that surround the property. And we're going to be doing a full investigation October of 2015 once the office gets situated and once the office gets situated and settled in, I'll do a full photography session, EVPs. Or run EMF Goss conference room. We'll, and we'll investigate the outside as well as the inside, and hopefully, we find out what's haunting this location. It's a really beautiful office. Could be that statue. That's pretty creepy. That was left behind by an employee. It looks more like a voodoo or some witchcraft type of doll, you know, poke pins in it. Lord Rick, Lord Rick, I'm going to get you, but. All joking aside, I do believe that this house is haunted. Not even to put it mildly. It's the fact of is I heard it for myself. And then hearing reports about this door being closed and opening on its own, just makes you wonder. Just second guess everything and kind of say maybe, you know, maybe consider the fact that something is haunting this historic structure within these walls. And if you look, you have this, like I said, this is a room that really hasn't been uh, altered too much. A bunch of little cupboards like these. A lot of people say that this room freaks them out. I don't know why. I come in here, I'm just like, it's just a room with wood floors and walls. It's no different than any of the other rooms. The other rooms may have been more modernized, but they are still technically a part of the house. This is just a taste of things to come. We're gonna work with this location more in depth, find out why it's haunted, do a little research on the home, what haunts it, if it's haunted, if it's residual energy. Very wholesome neighborhood, brick homes, mansions, all on the in the foothills of the Sierra Nevadas and Carson Range. A lot of deer, black bear, mountain lion, they all come down. They wander these neighborhoods. They come down looking for food. So they're very used to humans in their presence. So last night I was able to take some photos of the bucks and stand five feet away. I could have practically pet them. Of course, you know, I still respect wild animals. We can film them, photograph them, enjoy them, but you gotta respect when they want their space. And so I think people need to understand that, you know, wildlife is meant to be appreciated, even if they come down and wander a neighborhood like this, you can still enjoy them from your window or your porch, take photos, live and let live. The deer aren't scared of the ghost. 
But when we're done with this place, you just might be. We'll see how things progress today as I work here, if I experience any more activity. This is Lord Rick. Check us out, www.paranormalghostsociety.org. Things are getting interesting. Activity is being stirred up due to the move. And this historical home should be a nice gem to share with our viewers and our fans and friends. So anyways, folks, I had uh, finished the desk, as you can see, and as I was putting the last piece on, I was here at the office by myself, and all of a sudden, in the room, the old room next door, this room right here, something banged really loud. I come in here, there's nothing moved, nothing touched, but something made a noise back here. And so I'm starting to really speculate that this place is haunted. And when I come back, I'll do EVPs here and just try to see what's on in it. I think it's a female spirit. I really do. It's almost like she's going around cleaning and talking real loud and moving and things get moved around. And she may not like it and she's kind of haunting the place. After everyone gets settled down here, the haunting should almost cease to exist. It's learning to live with the haunt. If people keep being scared and acting all weirded out it'll probably never go away so but we'll see what happens she's got two babies in the very oh look at the babies Every day at this historical office, deer are seen. The other night it was bucks, but it was too dark out, and today is a doe with her fawns. We came back to the house. There was deer roaming the front. There's always deer here. They're very attracted to the place. But on my way out last time I was here, I heard some noises and all of a sudden, what is that noise? And then all of a sudden, I leave the room and one of the closet doors opens on its own. It's just constant activity here. There are deer that are here. What's going on, man? Banging in the basement? Yeah. Trying to scare me, huh? Does not work. If I can't find you guys up here, then it's obvious you're in the basement making a ruckus. You didn't just vanish. We're not doing an alien case. This is a ghost case. This is a ghost diary. I'm ghost documenting. Not Jared pounding on the ceiling and trying to scare Dad a spoof. This is not a comedy. This is real paranormal. Come on, there's real stuff. This closet opened on its own. It did? Yeah. Yesterday, yeah. And there was banging and screams and movement. It's, this place is pretty haunted, this, this building. I filmed the deer in the front, and then I took a bunch of photos of the, the two fawns with the doe. They were rubbing against each other. It was, it was pleasant. I love this place. I'm gonna get that water cooler in a second. <sighs> the joys of business. When there's no deer in the front. There's sometimes in the back. This is a very woodsy area. It's historic, and you have the benefit of the Sierra Nevada mountains straight up that hill. Therefore, the deer can come right down to the foothills 
where there's a lot of shade, fruit trees. You can enjoy eating and eating apples or grapes or any any fruits or vegetables that people grow. There's a big beehive up here. I think it's larger than my head. It's bigger than a basketball hanging in the tree. A lot of, oh, a lot of cottonwood trees. You can see the mountains, which the deer come right down off of from the National Forest into the foothills. And they're very people friendly. Bucks, does, fawns. That's the apple tree. And they just love those apples. They'll hop the fence to get them. Jared found a secret hatch in the basement. I don't have my flashlight because I'm not here to investigate. I was just taking photos and checking out more of the house. And he found this opening under the stairs. This is the stairs are on the other side. That's just showing you. There are some little secrets hidden in the historical neighborhood. A lot of houses have secret passages and crawl spaces. Places where you can hide under the stairs, including all the spooks. Pretty spooky stuff. Secret filming. Look at them looking. They're like humans. These deer are so friendly over here on this haunted property. They come right up almost to you. I wonder if they ever see or hear the ghosts. They leap right over the wall. <laughs> Head into the mountains. That little one is adorable. Look, they don't even care. Like human? I don't care. <laughs> 